Hey everybody, my name is Mark Green. Today we're gonna go over the Gasol K12. So to start with, uh, it's just like every other gas tool. There's gonna be a choke feature. There's gonna be a throttle cord to get it started. And there's a primer bulb. So the first thing as we're checking this out is we wanna check and make sure that it has uh, gas, which is gonna be 50 to one. And if this is a cold start, we'll make sure that the primer bulb has uh, gasoline in it. We don't need to over prime it and push it until it breaks, but just enough to where it's full. This blue tab right here is your choke. It's going to be pulled out only if this is the first time that we're starting this tool for the, for the operation, whether it's actually for the shift or if it's going to be for uh, some type of extrication or some type of cutting of rebar, the choke needs to be pulled out. There's a decompression button that's located on the side. It's a blue button. Some of them are located on the front. This one happens to be on the side. What that does is it takes the pressure off of the piston and allows you to pull that cord a whole lot easier to get it started. So when you pull this cord, you're gonna pull it until you hear the motor try to turn over. You're not gonna start this with the choke out. So, so you hear it doing that turnover, that means you don't need the choke anymore. So you're gonna take this blue lever, push it in. Now there's no longer any choke. Make sure that decompression button is still pulled and you're gonna fire it up again. And now it's good. To turn it off, it's as simple as just flipping this stop button right here and the unit is off. There's a, a couple of other features of this saw that we'll never use. There's a water attachment that's for cutting concrete. We don't do that, so you won't ever need to use this blue lever here. Uh, if for some reason this floods out uh, because it's been over choked or the choke has been pulled while the truck is in drive and it's bouncing around flooding out that carburetor, uh, we just pull this gray cap off. There's a spark plug located inside along with an air filter. We take that off, let it air out, reassemble fire it up, it should start right up. Now we're gonna go into how to access the blade and change the blade out. You'll notice that this has a, uh, a depth guard on it. You're not gonna be able to locate the nut, the arbor nut, without moving that off to the side. Once it's off to the side, you're gonna take your handy tool and you can take a screwdriver or you can grip it yourself and you'll just put it right inside this little loop right here. And what that does is just stops the blade from spinning. This is a righty tighty, lefty loosey operation. And you're gonna break that nut free. Nut with the washer. Blade washer, blade. Putting it back together is the exact process, but in reverse. One thing to pay attention to is this arbor, this uh, blade washer is not a perfect circle. It's got straight ends on it. That lines up with the actual arbor itself and sits into place. Then you take your nut and bolt and thread it right into here, getting it on by hand first. And we don't need to over tighten this thing, potentially stripping the screws out. We just need to go a quarter turn past hand tight. And that's it. This goes back into its slot and it's reassembled. You'll be expected to perform this uh, on your promotional exam and also on your step up exam. So being familiar with how the individual K12s on your truck operate, some don't have this blade guard, some do. Uh, but otherwise, it's the exact same process for every gas off. Thank you.